Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got NJ writing in on the email with a question about lenses. He says, hey Matt, I'm an ADD user and currently planning to have a lens but been in a confusion. Hope you will help me uh, for selecting the best lens between the Tamron 18 to 400, the Sigma 100 to 400, and the Tamron 100 to 400. And also, if you know any other better lens within the similar price range, then please let me know. Uh, good question. Thanks for your question. Um, first, I want to point out that we're not really comparing apples to apples here with these three lenses. The Tamron 18 to 400 is a very wide um, zoom in the sense of 18 to 400. The zoom range is quite wide. In comparison to the Sigma 100 to 400 and the Tamron 100 to 400 have a reduced re zoom range. They start at 100. The other one starts at 18. So typically what's going to happen in a situation like this is both that Sigma 100 to 400 and that Tamron 100 to 400 are going to perform in general overall better than the 18 to 400 in terms of sharpness and image quality just because they're trying to do less um, Whereas the Tamron 18 to 400 is trying to do a lot more, and it just you tend to lose when you when you get into a super zoom, you do tend to lose a little bit of quality for convenience. Not to say that should be the reason for your decision. The convenience may overrule the better image quality that you might get out of the 100 to 400 lenses, and that's a decision you have to make. Would you rather have the 18 to 400 that gives you a, a lens you can put on, essentially a walk around lens you can cover all situations, you know, from wide at 18 all the way out to 400 or would you rather have something that starts at 100 that you're going to be using you know your kit lens or something at the other end if you want to go wide and then have to swap out a lot of people are liking the super zooms you know the 28 to 300 i believe is one of scott kelby's favorite super zooms um and i think he uses that a fair bit if memory serves on a full frame so the question here is for you to decide do you want the convenience of an 18 to 4 which is is very convenient. There's no doubt about it. But you're going to suffer a little bit on image quality compared to the 100 to 400s. And then at that point, it's just a question of the Sigma versus the Tamron. My preference has always been Sigma because I have had some issues with Tamron in the past. However, I do know that Tamron, a lot of people are very happy with Tamron. They make some very good lenses um, by reviews and reports and whatnot. Um, but because of that, my preference would be the Sigma. But I'm going to throw it back to our viewers. If you are in NJ's position here and you want to buy a lens, would you go for a super zoom, an 18 to 400, like this Tamron? Would you be okay with the reduced image quality you may get in comparison to the 100 to 400 lenses? Or would you rather do a two-lens two setup and have a, a reduced zoom range, the 100 to 400, but a little better image quality? How many of you guys have shot with the Tamron 18 to 400? If you have a, a user experience, let us know in the comments below. Let's hear your feedback on it. Let's help out MJ. Who has shot with the Sigma 100 to 400? I've shot with that, and it's a nice lens. I haven't shot with the Tamron. Um, and again, my preference would be Sigma, but wanted to know what you guys would say between the Sigma and the Tamron 100 to 400. Which one would you get and why? Have you shot it? Do you own it? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out MJ with this decision here. All the feedback we get from you folks is helpful to our viewers anytime they write in because it just gives them maybe something I hadn't thought of, extra feedback from people, maybe differing opinions, and it's just easier to make a decision that way. Thanks for your question, NJ. Looking forward to hearing what our viewers have to say, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.